Hello to the channel. We're back and we're buzzing. We're coming towards a huge weekend. Hope everyone's really excited and looking forward to it. It's kind of nice actually to feel a bit of excitement again. Um, all this cash, um, Ethereum, whatever, it's been given out. So I'm um, looking forward to the weekend. Loads and loads and loads and loads of changes. So um, this video usually is 30 minutes, 40 minutes or whatever. Like, um, could easily be four hours tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just see where it goes. So anyway, we're going to head into the um, weekend preview and then we'll go from there. So first thing to point out is um, sort of probabilities using this spreadsheet um, and it's been some wee updates and stuff on it as well. I'm not going to use all the, the sort of features on here, but um got loads of different sort of sections in here. Most have been hidden by my face. Um, anyways, first thing we're going to look at is the sort of general team fixtures. Uh, da -da -da -da, helps if you select the correct game week. <laughs> um, and then we'll go from there. The other thing which is quite good here as well is that we should now have a filter where we can um, start going into competitions. So champion, challenger and contender. So let's go through it. So overall game week preview. Expect the team goals Tottenham Hotspur. That's a nice one actually. Um, I suppose Luton do concede quite a lot as well. Um, so that's an interesting one. Um, see we've got some additional stats on here. So we've got um, team possession, competition, etc. here. But I'm going to... Um, Gonna filter it anyway after do a preview. Uh, Benfica, no real surprise there. Expect team goals, um, nearly three. Um, you see, if you think back to our video, I was talking about how the um, MLS teams or the midweek games. You know, it's like expect team goals are two. Um, so three is really high. Um, and to be expected. Leverkusen, really nice. Um, Bayern Munich. Um, a bit surprising, but no, having Dortmund, I know they haven't kept many clean sheets this season. Uh, 20, um, 2.61 expect team goals. Celtic against Livingston. The boys are back in town. Let's go. Um, that's going to be exciting. Um, till Celtic concede. <laughs> anyway, clean sheet percentage 55%, so maybe he's not. Stuttgart, very good team this season. Internationale Milano against Empoli. Um, Barcelona, Liverpool, pretty interesting one. I think Andrew Robertson's injured now as well, but um, yeah, it's pretty, seems a pretty good fixture. Um, and we're going to have some tactics to discuss with divisions and things as well. Um, we'll ignore that next fixture. AZ against Vitesse, Rijeka, um, Chelsea. It's unusual to see Chelsea um, on there. Feyenoord, um, Utrecht are a pretty handy team, but Kind of interested in Shanghai, um, PSV. Usually they're up top. So, anyways, since we're on the theme and we're just getting organised for these different divisions, we're gonna go in and we're gonna firstly do champion, then challenger, and then contender. It's hard to get used to all this stuff. <laughs> so, so yeah, Tottenham, Leverkusen. Bayern Munich, pretty good fixtures. And um, Barcelona there, Liverpool would mentioned. Aston Villa, sneaky one. Wolves not been really too good this season. Um, we've got unusual to see Real Madrid further down there as well. Um, so that's for expected team goals, clean sheet percentages. Bologna, nice. Salernitana, pretty poor. Inter Milan are pretty good stackable team, I would say, this season. So appearing quite high up in both. Valencia, I'd imagine they're probably playing at home because they've been pretty good at home. Um, nice, uh, Barcelona and Chelsea. Um, so we'll go in and now we're going into Challenger. Now this is obviously the new version of Challenger as well. So we've got your your MLS in with your um, era de VZ and everything these days. Jesus, that's not, no, it's just mucking with my brain. Anyway, Benfica, um, that's a good thing actually, you know, maybe the Celtic stack will not have to play against Benfica this weekend. We'll see what we're doing. 20. AZ Alkmaar. Feyenoord of Rotterdam. Um, Sporting PSV Eindhoven. 
Um, you will see if you're really um, looking quite closely some um, MLS teams are way down, further down. So, that, you know, it can be quite rewarding, the old MLS. Um, you know, and it does look like it's reasonably good fixtures for Philadelphia um, in terms of team goals, Inter-Miami, etc. But they're not um, usually as reliable as your big boys in Holland, etc. Um, expect a clean sheet percentage. Well, but Benfica, you know, pretty standout fixture there, right? Top of both. AZ, pretty interesting. You know, Sugawara, Matt Ryan. Um, I think Minions in a kind of new position. No, he's not defence, but like, you know, maybe becoming a bit more stackable for one of the better words. Leeds, um, 20, Feyenoord, um, Porto. Um, so that's actually a reasonably good fixture. I mean, over to expect team goals and pretty good clean sheet percentage. Um, and you can see all the rest of the jazz there. And then we'll go into Contender, which is everything that's left over. Um, bear in mind, though, that we do still have All-Star and stuff this weekend, so that's where we're going to get the complete mindfuck in terms of where we're going to play guys, etc. Um, unsurprisingly, Celtic are up there, um, still pretty high up. So, um, yeah, a lot to get used to here in terms of the different divisions, but we've got those cash money tournaments. Um, right, Jekka? You've got the... Um, Run Cheng, I think it's the team that Big Felipe Silva plays for, from memory. Um, teams like St. Pauli, Bodo Glimt, yes, it's hogger season. I actually sold one of them as well, but I do have that R Super Rare left, so that's going to be pretty interesting because obviously we've got under 23s and everything still running to um, San Fritchie Hiroshima. Pretty good, actually. Um, and again, I'm not going to go over this too much in terms of individual teams because we'll, we want to do some actual lineup building as well and then we've got clean sheet percentages um, and I've just remembered at this point I haven't done the Celtic play sharper yet so that's a pain in the ass <laughs> uh, Rijeka um, Celtic I better do the, <laughs> better do the prediction eh? Independiente, that's quite good I've um, got um, Rodrigo Ray um, Leganes, um, Como, but it's not really one usually I see that much of. Um, Boca, so that's pretty interesting. Not a high expected team goals, but pretty good defensively. And say San, San Fritchi, Hiroshima, pretty interesting. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause. I'm going to do the play sharper prediction. It'll appear by magic. When I look important. Here it is it? by magic, and we've got that stocks thing again, which looks as if there's something spraying out my mouth. Um, so yeah, just spouting crap as usual. Um, right, predictions Joe Hart, pretty straightforward, retiring in the summer, unfortunately. Greg Taylor, pretty straightforward. Bernard Bays went out on loan to international, so we don't really have anybody else. So let's start, I think. Arthur Johnson, pretty straightforward, seems to be fit. Scales and Vickers, interesting one. So I think Scales, pretty expected to play. I've not had any confirmation for the club. He was withdrawn from the Ireland team, but was expected to be back. But that's the only reason he's 85%. Carter Vickers has been playing. I've downgraded him a wee bit because it is a artificial pitch. Um, so is it, you know, do we really risk him? I do think both of the fullbacks are the safest defensive options this week. I'm not saying they'll be the highest scoring, but the safest defensive options. Iwata, now McGregor's expected to be back. I haven't had confirmation he's in training yet, so I've made him 85%. And obviously, if we do see he's in training, he's available. That's going to be up to 95%. The other midfield slots, I think, are quite interesting. I think that Iwata's done enough myself. Um, I think that playing O'Reilly a bit further forward suits him better. Um, so I think Iwata McGregor would would work there. So no news of Iwata been injured or anything, just try to work out how everybody's going to come back into the team. Bernardo's done okay as well. Do have some other sort of options in there. Hatati, I really just don't see him starting this game at all. Um, I'm saying he's, he's played a 45 minutes bounce game. I think he might come on from the bench and then um, he might be in the running for Rangers away. Um, up front, Furuhashi, I mean, he's come back to better form. 
he does maybe lost his way a wee bit after a good start, missed a penalty at Hearts. So I expect Furuhashi to start either to come on for the bench. Nicholas Kuhn's been excellent. I mean, I actually consider making him a higher percentage. He's been really good the last two games. I think he'll keep his place, and I think that um, Yang is available. So Yang is back after his um, suspension. So I need to update suspensions and stuff. I'll do that after the video. Um, it's actually forgotten the middle of the video. I hadn't done the prediction. So anyway, um, and Maeda has been playing pretty well. So I think that that's pretty straight forward. So that's as we've done the whistle stop tour through there. And now we've got to work out what the fuck we're doing with all these different tournaments. What are we doing? Right. What are we doing? So I had a look in the last video, the different lineups we've got in terms of availability. Some really nice Division 1s, so even an in-season Division 2 Super Earn, the EPL comp, we've got the champion, um, got a Division 1 entry and champion Super Earn, which is very nice, rare as well. Um, Challenger, not really a huge surprise there, although lower down in terms of in-season. Contender, Division 1s available. Then we've got the under 23s, the special weekly, the all star, and the caps, and my head is about to bloody explode. There's no two ways about it, my head is about to explode. So I think we're going to have to consult the spreadsheet and start looking at who's got the the best um, projected scores here, and then we'll kind of we'll decide from there, okay? Um, no players available, that's because of that. Right. So, two seconds. Yeah, Biggie Gals updated the spreadsheet and uh, yeah, it's fair to say that some of the settings have been changed but we've worked it out. So I've got it back to um, expected um, projected scores PS. So that's what we've got here. So having a look through, McCoy's got a really nice, that's a really high projected score for him. Um, Majuki, really high, 72. Hogger, I'm not sure if he'll play for Bodo Glimt. Courtois, Scourtois, he's got no knees. Jungdal, pretty high. Nico Mantle, nice seam up there. Kazuki Osako. Pedrak Rajkovic. I think that this green bit here as well, well done, Egal. The green bit means that these are the in season cards I've got, so that's really useful as a visual tool as well. Um, Joe Hart, 61. Uh, remember, these are the players I own, this isn't the whole shebang. Um, Reese James, <laughs> he doesn't have any hamstrings either. Are any no stop my knees early, not hamstrings. Johannes Handel, that's a limited card, Liam Scales, um, Van Dyke, it's all pretty high score. Celtic, do you imagine he's featuring quite highly? Um Boscagli, pretty high. Um Branko van den Boomen, huge project score, just not sure if he'll start. Alan Varela, that's a pretty interesting one. Um Coop Miners, Bruno Fernandez, good one. August oh, seventy nine. Oh, oh. Yes, Matt O'Reilly, um, pretty high as well. Um, loads in the seventies, so I'm I think I'm gonna have some fun picking these lineups. Mo Salah, I think did he have a quite a, a wee knock? I don't know. Griezmann, Minguiri, pretty interesting one. Nicholas Kuhn, so a lot of Celtic players up there as well. So I think what we're gonna do first and foremost here is we're gonna work our way through in terms of what we want to select, right? So this is the off the cuff strategy discussion. I still want to prioritise under 23s. Done very well in under 23s. I want to prioritise cash. I don't think that the out of season teams I really want to be really focusing on like challenger and stuff because there's quite a high likelihood you're going to win guys who are near the end of the season. So, you know, I think from that point of view, I want to like play the MLS special for cash. I want to play in season stuff, so I think we're gonna to have to pick like um under twenty three MLS special weekly. Start picking the super rare guys, um, because you can't use a super rare now in rare unless you drop it down to that scarcity effectively. Then we'll go from there. But I mean, this this is like such a huge stab in the dark. <laughs> Honestly, like um, spreadsheets looking good by the way. Nice wee colours and everything here, like that. The gals hired so rare colours guy, so it's nice. Some nice colours. Right. Under 23s. So this is where decisions start coming in. So Koi, 
And it also shows I don't have enough depth here as well. So we've got Koi, but he might be pretty important for sort of classic champion, etc. in terms of super rares. That's the bugger with Allison not been fit. Suarez and Burjik don't play. Yaivan Juif does and Guttelbauer has just come in. Pretty low expected score, but I think that's based on his what he's done so far. So under twenty three. Need to get used to this new layout add team. And there's only one entry for this one. So I think I'm gonna go for Guttelbauer. I think that being a home game that's a pretty good fixture. Um he has a low sample size here. It leaves me with Juf and Nikoi for potential champ lineups. Um, so we'll go with Gilbert. Defenders. Wesley Fafana, Christian Ligament there, yes. <laughs> Sugawara, Kresma, I'm not sure who's going to play. Jeremy Fingpong, quite interesting one. It's quite good to know which ones are in season here. It's pretty handy because it doesn't really matter for the under 23s. I'm going to go strong in this. Let's just, yeah, have our first, like, don't always prioritise it that much in terms of super rare, but maybe a change of thinking is required. Midfield. Varela is a really interesting one. I really like Alan Varela, to be honest. Um, Jens Peter Hogger. Um, I think I'm going to keep a Riley. Or some sort of Celtic or unique offering. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense. Alan Varela. Again, this is what's good about the under 23s, right? You just don't really need to bother about in season and out season, so that headache is to come in a minute. Koki Saito back in amongst it. Troy Parrott, I think, is injured. Adam Eder, I don't think he'll start. Kuhn, I think I want in amongst Celtic stacks. So, Koki Saito, and who else will I use in here? Nicholas Madsen, projected 79, that's pretty good. A shame not to use Hogan, it's a 23s. So, Jens, Peter, on penalties as well, pretty good form pre season, and he's getting the captain's armband. We've picked a team! Yes, we've picked a team. We're on the road. We've got one registered, right? Under 23 Super Air. So, what do I do now here? Register a new team. Ah, add a team. So, let's get a rare in. Um, multiple entries don't start in that, and this tournament is still August. So, pretty interesting. Um, Majuki, I think. He it seems pretty nailed. Um, pretty good option for a champion in season, so I might just bypass him and use Jungdal here. Pretty awful last game. That's the thing. How's Tribun looking? Where's Tribun? Uh, it's 58. Mm, Pandor doesn't play. Ozako probably using a contender. I think I'm going to go Tribun. This is where it really boggles my brain because can't play a plus lineup. You know, I have like the All Star plus or twenty three plus, and I really miss that. Um, here we go, Tony Silva. So that's really good having that information in our AL card suspension. Gertrude is a nice in season card. Probably gonna keep that back. Um, where is? Ah, usually I have the Schlotterbeck in here, but he's got a hard fixture, right? Dear Trudor, Juarez, my Bill Dewey. Camille Piazkowski is a pretty interesting show. Nico Williams, Tom Verrojo was the always play. Alejandro Francis was injured. Nafroki, Mark Pivo. It's a bit difficult, actually. It's just totally rocking up with... <laughs> <laughs> Calvin Bassey here. Right, he's been scoring pretty well, Calvin Bassey. At Sheffield United. That's pretty interesting. Not really one I thought I was going to be rolling out in under 23s, but just go with it. I don't know. Against Peter Hogger, that seems pretty. 
go with Hogger. Um, I think we're rolling out a Matt O'Reilly in here as well. And then up front, Taki was away with Japan. It's been a bit in and out, hit or miss. It's really good to have this colour code, and I really like what you've done here, Gal, if you're watching at this point. You know, because you can see what's in season and what's not in season. So that is a big tick for me. Love that. Um, Vinicius Jr. suspended. We'd see Moussi Alice so far down. He's been really, really good this season. Anyways, um, I mean, Guiri. The only, my only problem with Guiri is he's not really that reliable in terms of playing. Nicholas Kuhn is it in season, probably what use him in the cash comps or something there. Tagirovic, Saruri. So that's getting difficult decisions here already. Kulosevsky, kind of interesting one because that was a quite a, against Luton, I think it can make sense, you know. Uh, cool. Kulosevsky. In fact, I can use Kuhn because I've got quite a few. It's an advantage of being a maniac. <laughs> Then we'll put in Big Matthew O'Reilly. 16, do we put in the, in the... I think we'll use that for the cash comps. 14.5%. Captain, I'm going to go with Matt O'Reilly. Palma, I think, still injured. It's going to be on all the sort of sets, etc. Can we get a 23's limited team in? Well, yeah, we're only in the 23's here. Uh, no. <laughs> That's right, because Cavaline has played midweek, so can't really do that. Right. MLS Special Weekly. We need to get involved in that competition. That is an unbelievable competition, honestly. Um, under 23s, no all star rare. And then we need the league. So we need Major League Soccer. MLS. See, people pause it and they edit things and everything at this point, but you just, just got to watch all the crap that I do when I'm picking lineups, so I do apologise for that, but where's the bloody MLS? Where is it? Where is it? It's disappeared. Netherlands. MLSPA. Is that what that is? I thought it was something else. <laughs> I must admit, I'm really, really been, like, quite happy to win Patrick Schulte. Um... Delighted with that, honestly. So it's nice to see him pretty high up there as well. Look at all these teams you can enter. Wow. Calm down. <laughs> hey, calm down. I'm getting excited. Oh, it's against Nashville. They've been rotten this season. Sorry, guys. Really love Nashville as well. Um, but they have been Johnny Rotten. Um, Omar Campos makes sense. I think he was over in Mexico. So um, does kind of make sense. And again, I don't like backing against Nashville in all honesty, but they're been pretty poor. I mean, like it's just they've just been pretty poor. Martin Rogeda, not the highest expected score. Look at Tiago Amado's expected score, Jesus. 72. Okay, that makes sense. Will Lionel Messi be back? I think he will, right? I think he will. And I think I'm gonna use him in here as well because I want cash. <laughs> It's the decision made there. I want to win some cash. <laughs> and then I can't use him with Suarez. That's the only downside, but that's not the end of the world. And then, so in season wise, who we've got, we've got Martin Rogeda. We need to beef that up a wee bit. I think we need to improve that a bit. I'd like to have a bit more choice there because obviously you need, you need three cards. So I'm going to go with it. Um, Messi is the captain. And then, you know, we'll see if we can, we can, improve that at some point but it's nice to have something in there we do have all-star competitions here as well so it's pretty interesting um quite a lot of entries as well so that's quite telling i think probably we have a good strategy to start getting some um in-season cash teams picked here the reason being you can use up the in-season cards and then you know move down to the classic so right so what we've got here We've got Premier League, we've got Champion, we've got Challenger, and we've got Contender. So I'm going to go Contender first. So... Contender in Season 
for the blues. And we need super rares. What I done? Why I broken it? It's cause I've got it set to US of A. Right. So what it's done here is filtered out all of the out of season cards. So the only problem with that is that I want to actually see the other ones as well, right? I want to see the classic options too. So Joe Hart, yeah, leave it's classic. That's fine, because then I can see it in season and out of season. So all said and done, Joe Hart. <laughs> right, so in season team A, this is gonna take ages, man. Honestly. If you prize pool, let's have a look what's first. One thousand three hundred dollars. Get in. Yes. That's a yes tick. Let's get the team picked. Joe Hart. Um and you only need two, 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 is it two in season here? I don't know. Liam Scales, I think would make sense. I don't really have any Celtic in season outside scales. So yeah, I think that that's going to make the most sense. We need to use some in season. Um, Matt O'Reilly Unique is out of season. So that's interesting. We don't have any under 23 rare plus to play. So I think it's going to be Matthew O'Reilly here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you're watching it, Dwink, but I might just play Cezina just to get it right up to here because I know how much you love the Celtic. <laughs> projected 61, interesting. Felipe, he's a he's a top guy as well. He's a top shagger there. Nicholas Gerrit Kuhn, I think I'm going to have to use him. Um, don't have any more under 23s entries. Um, so I could use him there, but it gives me a choice here. And then we're going to full Celtic stack. I don't know will we keep a clean sheet. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, and you can use um, the in season cards in the other competitions as well. Felipe, I, I do really like. Um, puts up some really good scores, right? But if we're going to go a Celtic stack, then let's go a Celtic stack. And we'll go. I mean, that's strong. I mean, that's that is. That's got every chance of winning the 1300. Right, so that's my first team, and that's in Division 1. Right, so now I get to play my second team in Division 2. Right, we'll get the hang of this eventually, by the way. This is in season, this is more chance for the cash. Let's go after that cash. Show me the money. Use Joe Hart, Ramiro McCagno, let's juke. Those are pretty good options. Like Mickey McCagno, pretty good. Obviously, this is in season, so I'm going to have to pair him with guys who are in season cards. So, mm, we don't have a huge amount of choice in season wise, defensive wise. Why I keep saying wise. Johnson. Vickers. Monfrey has been really, really reliable. Then I'm going to have to pick in season, right? So now we're going to have to be really strict. I'm going to have to pick guys who are in season, and this is where it falls down. See? I think you used to. So I've got O'Reilly, Odom Home, it's not enough. Ida. Ah, this is where you, you've really got all the strategy coming in, right? Do you really want to enter this if you're just wearing in guys that are not like that good for it? Um, don't have enough in season cards to do that. Let me see what we've done in the other division. Probably, so probably used one too many in that, but I don't really want to dispense with any of those. I could use the Matt O'Reilly unique in there, so that's interesting. That'll work, won't it? So that's playing as a super rare. And not... Ah, shh. We need to see. Yes, I can. See, I'm still learning this as well, guys, right? I'm still learning it. Right, so, okay. 
So I don't have a strong second one, still have enough in season cards for here. So then we're going to go into classic, right? Just work our way down, right? Just work our way down. Miro McCagno, Adrian Monfrey. You can use Matt O'Reilly in here, which is a fucking waste of us. A unique uh, big Felipe Silva. Um, Cezinha. This is a classic, right? So we don't have all the cash available here, but what's the prizes like in here again? We can still win the podium and stuff, and we can still win in season in these boxes and all that sort of stuff. That's that rare for first. Fuck. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't mind that. <laughs> it's right. It is. I'm, I'm fortunate, and it's really good to have access to these divisions, honestly. Um, so let's do the rares. Hey, we're only half an hour in here. We're going to be here all night. But... Yeah, look as if I care. <laughs> no. Right, so contenders, we're doing more Celtic. Let's. So in season team one, it's going to be Celtic. Why are you, why are you not on that? Ah, yeah, down here. So we're probably going to go with something similar here. So Big Joe. Joseph Hart, we're using the new one here. I think that would make sense. Liam Scales, do we really want to risk Scales? Suppose could just go for Alistair Johnson. We've been putting in some really good scores, no doubt about it. Matt O'Reilly again, it's kind of hard to leave him out. Don't have any other under 23s to play. So, that makes sense. You can bet Graham two games. Just caught my eye there. I think here probably will um, do the unthinkable and run Cezinha in with the Celtic team. I, I don't know. I mean, Celtic scored a few good few goals against in the last time, but Cezinha is due to put in a pretty good one, right? Um, and then Johnson Scales got a really high project score. That's the only problem. We used Hogger. Nicholas Kuhn been playing very well, to be honest. So very tempting. Felipe is excellento as well. Home game as well. So they featured quite high up. Um, so I suppose from that point of view, it's like not just relying on Celtics forwards. I suppose Livingston away could be a bit more of a sticky game. So could do that and that works right because three's enough. No, it's not enough. Talk rubbish. And you need four, don't you? The Chen A. So what we've got in season, Nicholas Kuhn using our Kuhn. Oh, sure, and a sorted. I went a bit mental buying Nicholas King, but this is where it pays off in the cash comps. Yes, come on. Right, so we've got that one in. In season, let's do an R in season, we'll prioritise the cash. I'm going to end up with fucking so many lineups here. Man. <laughs> well, that's good, right? We want to be using up the cards, we want to be getting everything all in amongst it. That's. So what we're going to do for here, we could use, we could use the Sanfrecci defensive stack here. We could do that. Um, Rodrigo Ray, always pretty high up again, out of season. Don't have many in season high up cards here. So we're going to have to use out of season and then start padding it out with in season guys. So defensive stack would work. Would it? Would it? Going to use for midfield then. Hmm, we got short of options there. Probably what use like an Alistair Johnson or something there. Uh, right, Rodrigo Ray. Do we have an in-season fellow here? I can use skills. In-season card. Magic. Greg Taylor. Interesting. Um. Cal Macchio, we could use Cal Mac. A um, bit more of a risk. I don't know, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not sure he's fit yet. You and Bit Goat. Ho oh, ho, double game week. Get yourself in there, the goat. No, I can't. Oh, shit. You need four. You need four, don't you? Get that in my head. You need four. Four. 
Hey. Hey, so I'm gonna have to use my regular, right? I'm gonna have those guys available for something else. Can just use Kin and everything. It's <laughs> orchid, but good ashy. And I suppose it's got a risk skills, right? There we go. So that's the second one in. So that's in season. So then we put the next one in, it's gonna go in the bottom division. So I think I'm gonna pick that like last, right? We're only on contender here, we could we literally could be here all night, honestly. Classic in season team A. Right. Team A, classic in season. So we're still in contender rare, classic. Jungdal, pretty good game. Pretty fancy a bit of the old San Frecci defensive stack here. San Frecci, here we go. Um but unusually you'd bypass Douglas Santos, but Sacco, who's high up here? Scales, Vickers, Greg Taylor, Douglas Santos. Could put in big Dugray Santos. He is a top guy. And then there's no restrictions here, right? So we can put in Unbeck go. <laughs> this is getting exciting. Uh, Felipe. So this is the win contender card, so I guess like the could be an argument for putting this in all star. Um Yeah, it's looking a bit strong in top. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in all star rare. Choice is overwhelming here in top, but I think that I want to prioritize global all star rare more than that division. What's that go? Uh, Douglas Santosovic, Yunbet Go, Felipe Silva, and we've got an angle by Sentry playing there. So it's a shame he's an in season card, but then we've kind of used up in season entries already here. So, in a go. There's a lot of brain power going on here, and I'll tell you what, my head is really running out of brain power. Where the hell is he? Why oh, he's disappeared? He was there? I'm sure he was there. There he is. There you go, Senny. Captain, Yunbit go, two games, easy the peasy. Right, so picked an all star. Um, you don't get multiple entry in the all star. So that's the all star selection used. And let's not talk about caps and all that stuff at the moment. I think the UI works pretty well, right? So classic in season contenders, we're back to that. It's looking quite good, I must admit. I don't mean in terms of like teams, I mean it's looking quite good. So back to the spreadsheet. Used as echo. Jungdao, pretty good game. Yeah, makes sense. Um, did I put more Celtic in here? I suppose I probably just should just cause it's Celtic, right? <laughs> pretty good fixture. I'm just not so sure who's going to play, so I think I'm probably going to play it a bit safe and put in Greg Taylor. Midfield wise, see, I'm taking this off like high projected scores and everything here as well. Matt O'Reilly. Can they have a Matt O'Reilly available? No, I don't use them. Evgen's injured, I think. Cal McGregor, Canales. Good personal friend of mine's. Forward. <laughs> Just got to use Kuhn and everything, right? <laughs> He's a stinker, then we's fucked. <laughs> we was really fucked. But um, that's the way it goes, right? Um, Ratkoff. I don't know where I'm going to be using him. Maybe I'm just not going to use him at all, actually. Kuhn. Other options here. Yeah. 
and then do we just work in scales? It was a bit unusual to use two defenders with not using the goalie. We could just buy an Arjo Hart, he's that cheap, but is it really worth it at this stage? I don't know, like, if it is. Go Santos, Araki. Big Eduardo does some good scores. Nagoya have been really pretty poor. We just use a Vickers super rare, but we want to wire him into the all star super rare. That's a pretty good team. Um, kind of go for something a bit different, but a Celtic hybrid. Canale is captain. It's going really well, you know, so really scoring very well. So, what we've picked here, we've got teams in the A's, they're the ones or the twos or whatever. Um, A's and the B's. We haven't picked team names either. Ah, I haven't, I haven't actually picked team names. We'll need to do that. I don't have the brain power for that just now, honestly. I just, just, this is just, there's so many bloody teams to enter, which is good. Classic in season team B. Where are you? Takes a lot of time to get used to this, right? Which was good, like, but I've got our Johar. Why am I, why didn't I use Johar? This is where my head's getting. Right, so I can use Johar there. Actually, I'll just Captain Taylor then. And that means that Team B Classic in season is this one. And I can use Jingdao in here. Jingdao. I suppose I could risk flame scales in Division 2, right? I mean, definitely could, yeah. Definitely could risk them. Yeah, so. just, put in, just put in more Celtic stacks. Yeah, fuck it, just put in more Celtic. Yes. Yes, more Celtic, guys. Yeah, Palmas. Yeah, so that's we're getting a bit remote now in terms of like, who's left over. Nico Serrano. Done pretty well, actually. Rat Coffee. I could play Rat Coffee or Furuhashi. Uh, yeah, so just count as a rare, right? So it's not like. <laughs> I haven't even done my Celtic Limited team yet. Bloody hell, it's going to be like chaos. Chaos! And then who else we got here for our front? Second Coyle, uh, Ratkoff. Interesting. You could use Fernando or Ratkoff. Oh, Fernando. I'm not, I'm not using Ratkov for all time, but Fernando's been pretty good actually. Um, skills captain, he's really good last game, so I'm going to put in Fernando there. Right. So we've done a lot of teams already, and my brain hurts a lot. So we've got an in season team A, classic in season team A, they are both division ones. We've got in season team A for A and B for one and two, classic for one and two. Right, it's taken us 40 minutes so far. <laughs> right, so for Challenger, um, it's not, I don't have as much strength. Challenger Classic, uh, i got to go see what we've got in Super Rare offering. So it's quite hard to get used to this. So I suppose Nicology, etc. here. So that's kind of interesting. Right? So I suppose, seems not really that strong um but so division one classic team a a college pretty good home fixture actually it's not bad um we don't really need to worry about in-season cards here so that's good i'd say i'm so glad i've got a spreadsheet honestly i know i'm always plugging the spreadsheet but what a bloody hell this is <laughs> Honestly, Mika Weirston played the last game, played pretty well. I don't really fancy Nashville to do that well against Columbus. So we've got first big Mike. She may use the NC card, but that's what it is. Riku Page is in here, so I've not used him in the under 20. 
threes, which probably could. But I could keep them for all star super hour as well. Varela, Orkin Cox is falling out with everybody. Nicholas Madsen. Up front, we have Troy Parrott, uh, having Lozano again, using the end season cards, but I don't really have this. this Should I be in on this in the end season? Cash comp. But who else am I going to play with these guys? Don't have anybody else that's in the season, do I? It's very really stiff ones. Anyway, it's a, it's a nice position to be in when you press the right buttons. <laughs> right, press the right buttons, Mark. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Nah, I don't have enough in season in this division. So that's something I'm going to have to think about in terms of improving, but okay. That's what it is. That's a good team. I like that. That's a classic, and that is team. First team. So in season, I've only got an entry in Division 2, so I might just skip that just now, actually. Just leave that there, you know. Um, the point here are a lot of rubbish in it, I don't think. So then we'll go on to rares. That's going to be a long video. Nico Mantle up there, that's pretty interesting. Angus Gunn. So it's going to be for end season. So let's do end season first. I'm, I have, I'm, I, in my head, I'm prioritizing cash here, I think. So show me the cash. Show me the money. Angus Gunn's got two games. Why? Why not? Right, so we need four. Remember that from earlier. Need four. So we have uh, Willis Gagley. Mm, 72. Yes. Where are you? Oh, there you are. There you are. Nothing showing up. Attempts, suspensions, etc. Gertrude could come into contention. Tom Hay, pretty any high project score there. That's pretty interesting. Does Jewsbury Hall have two games? That's interesting. Neither Norwich. Yeah, so Angus Gunn's got two games, that's good. That's my reason. Tom Hayes been scoring pretty well recently, so I think actually that could be a quite a good show. He could be the other one, and then who we're playing up front. It's got to be an in season card right up front because we've used it midfield. Hirovich Sarui. I can play Sarui with here, that's pretty interesting. Um maybe a bit hard miss in terms of starting. Uh Michael Johnson. Who's he? Who are they playing? He's been excellent actually. Me Mikey. Watford. <laughs> Michael Johnson's a viable SO5 option. Jesus. What the That's scary. This is just bonkers, man. <laughs> it's just complete and utter bonkers, right? So I don't have anything strong in terms of limited here. So I've only got like, you know, class eight and uh, so I don't really have much going on there. So I'm going to skip challenger. I haven't done the limited Celtic teams actually. So I guess you're going to guess what I'm going to do there from the other ones. So let's get ourselves up to champion and the EPL. So we've got an EPL Division 1 entry. That's that is good. Let's go after more cash here. Premier League in season rare. Ah, county. Uh, Premier League classic. Yeah, I've got Keller in season. Don't know why that's not going up there. This is taking ages, man. And probably what I... I don't think I'll have an EPL 
entry with Big Verge, but I think we're a proven champion next. So I just caught my eye there. Right, so I need four here. Maverick Pandas doesn't always do that build. I suppose I could use Big Virgil Van Dijk in here and go for the defensive stack. And then we'll be using Bruno Fernandez, Liverpool and Man United together. Liverpool and Man United together. Struggling a bit up front, that's the only problem. That's this bloody needing four cards thing, honestly. I might actually just use the Virgil Super Air. It's such a, such a waste to do that. I suppose you use Phil Foden as well. Um, you need four, right? Bruno Fernandez. I might save my champion Division 1 entry for when Liverpool play Sheffield United. So, you know, this is going to look like a total bonkers move, but... It could look a bit genius as well. It could. I must admit, it could look also quite genius if it if it just like hits big. So, what else we got in season? Philip Foden. No, oh, he's not shown as an in season, but that's probably a wee glitch because I've got one of both, which is a brilliant position to be in as well. James Madison out of season gap goals. Yes, yeah, it's just a shame to play Virgil in there, honestly, but um, there's tons of cash up, for, up top in this, isn't there? I mean, like, EPL up top is $2,000. I'd buy an Mbappé, right? So, like, it's pretty good. That is pretty good. So, I mentioned there about champion. Let's see what we can do in champion. I guess we could just play the out of season champion. So in season team one and classic season team in division one. When I'm saying team one, I'm meaning like um, champion classic. Um, I'm meaning division one. If that makes sense. Could be quite good to use a koi here actually. Quite a high project score, and then we don't really need to worry as much about in season and out season and all that sort of jazz. Hey, de -de -de -de. Jeremy Fringpongovich. Yeah, I think actually I'm going to just leave Virgil in that team. Like, it's just such a waste, but I think I'm going to have to. It's just going to be one of those things, right? You just like, oh, okay. Like, but it's good to have flexibility. I think, you know, from that point of view, that's pretty good. Chris Furich, that's a nice high project score. I don't think I'll play Rice away at um, Man City. And we've got Griezmann to use in here. Things are getting tasty. <laughs> and who've got left? Rice, don't really want to use. Alvarez doesn't always play, it's the thing. Danny Prejo, difficult fixture. Max Arnold a bit better last game. Griffo has been a bit hard to miss as well. Vermeeren doesn't really play. Rodrigo de Paul. Griffo is an in-season card as well. It's a shame. Hmm. Refusions, refusions. Griffo is on penalties. So that is a kind of... Always sways me a bit as well. Munchen Gladbach can see the lot, and then we'll go for Griezmann captain. I really want to have no fair. We're in the wrong competition. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I've put it in the wrong competition. You need to make the classic and the non classic a bit bigger, though. What a dick. <laughs> what an absolute tadger. Where are you, Griffo? A bit far down there, it goes. Okay, that's a nice. I, I'm really pleased to get a Division 1 in any of these. And what, what can we win here? Star Rare? Star Limit? Uh, star Super Rare? Jeez. Win a Star Super Rare now? That's pretty good, right? So that's pretty good. What else do we need to fill out here? Champion in season. 
team A. We're going to have to finish here, otherwise people are just going to be falling asleep. But I've still got loads of teams to enter, which is really quite cool, but um, hopefully not getting too boring for you guys. Um, I'd imagine by this point you'll, you'll get a good handle on who's got the best fixtures and stuff, so that's really good. So, champion in season, this is probably where I'm going to use Majuki. In season, so we need four in season cards. Remember that. Rick. Talk to myself here, I'm not talking to the audience. <laughs> I'll use Big Virgil in here because I will have uh, some choice. Otherwise, I think if I'm going to. Um, can't use Virgil and. I think probably best keeping him using Michele here. Schlotterbeck, away game, hit tough. Lenny Yoro, always an option to be honest. Baragi, interesting one. Beraldo. Hmm. Decisions, early decisions. This is where it's getting hard, right? Because you're like, you need an in season. You want to use an in season. You've got other guys who are maybe like scoring higher, etc. Probably gonna have to use somebody. Just use like big Sergio Ramos or something in here. <laughs> Get half it. Right, and then we need to use in season cards, so that's where the filter comes in. Well done, sorry, I'm getting that sorted. Maxence Kakari. Now we're talking Maxence Kakari. Lewandowski. Griezmann. Ho -ho. Sorry for getting overly excited tonight. Just, I don't know, just Griezmann and Lewandowski. This is fun, man. This, I honestly, like, just feel as if, I know it's a big change and stuff, but I kind of feel happy again. Like, you know, just looking at this, like, cash on offer and stuff. So, like, like, like you know, just think about it. Like, what we're actually playing for in this competition. We're playing for 2200 for first. And even if you're in the top 45, you're getting $90. So, like, that's, that is, that is pretty awesome, must admit. Right. Um... What we're doing now, so we've picked an EPL team, we've picked some champ teams, we've picked some challenger teams, we've picked some contender teams, we've picked under 23 teams, we've picked special weekly all star, we've picked a rare, so we'll pick a super rare if we can. Don't really have an all star limited, so all star. So I'm gonna miss all star, I must admit. I mean, I really like all star. Um, that's what it is, it's going and all that. So we've got 18 Vassin. I picked up 18 Vassin because he was linked with Celtic. That's your explanation. Why do we use him here for shits and giggles? Let's use him. Uh, this is All Star Super Rare, so you don't need in season cards. Slim Scales, Virgil Van Dyke, Carter Vickers. Have I used Joe Hart Super Rare? Yeah. I can't remember now. I'm talking that long here. Yeah, um, so I can use Cameron Carter, the Vickers. Midfield. Varela, Hogg and Madsen. Gergic, Union. Coxes fell out, everybody. Scanners. Canales, yes. Get him in, Canales. Up front. Good to have Tati backs in, I must admit. I'm be pretty good to have those options available to myself. Johnny Russell, I th think, didn't play last game. Trossard, Serrano's been put. Oh. Kyogo Furuhashi. So I can use the unique in here. I guess that's a bit of a waste if I'm going to be targeting Cap 240 tech lineup. This is a more of a priority lineup, I suppose. So, yeah, we'll use them. Why not? And then, Kang Zen Wu, pretty good option as well. Looks as if he's starting to score pretty well, which is good. 
think McGregor will be back. Obviously, I'm going to change that if something happens. Um, Canales captain. Vickers, I'm not sure about the pitch. Can why can't he captain? That's a so does the unique still score extra here? Does it? I don't know. It says you can't captain it. Maybe a programming thing. Canales caps. Nice. <laughs> There's so many teams to enter, right? Like cap to twenty unique. I don't know why I have to enter cap to twenty. Cap to forty. Two twenty, two forty, and Ah, oh, you need to switch up here. Simplicity. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Here's my key. Simplicity. I write. Nickel is used. Less chook. We could use big less chook here. And then we need to use uniques. So, why guns? I thought he was moving to Miami. Is that not happened yet? Brian thinks he'll be back. Tanaka's been playing pretty well, so that's good. Serrano and then oh, fuck. Right, so I need to use a worse goalkeeper here. I don't really have enough. Because it's a cap. So the caps work. Funnily enough, Latika, Joe Willis, do you Looks relatively low down, 42. Leaves me a 43 available for the last position. And I don't know why I'm talking to myself. The video is probably too long now. John Larson's just a useless. Right, so we use Sander Bear. And then who have I got left? Goalkeeper, super rare, affordable only. Let's hope somebody fits in here. Or we're screwed. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Any of these guys lurking? Somebody lurking that's going to get a game. Be nice if um, Courtois would ever play a game again. <laughs> it was Coburn. It's like a jail. Could do that, right? Um, he'll Tanaka, the captain. Just going to go for $150. I'm not that confident. $150 would be awesome. So, there we go. I don't, does it tell you now how many lineups you've selected? I don't know if it actually does. It used to give you a, a total. So, still got quite a lot of lineups to put in here, but I think I'm going to do that when my head's working again. That was um, intense. That's It just takes so long to get your head around the different options and where you can put guys and prioritising. I'm very much going for under 23s. Um, MLS Special Weekly, getting into those top divisions, aiming for the top cash. That's the way my gallery's set up, I suppose. Stars will be stars, try and win the stars in the top divisions, try and win the best cards, try and win loads of money. Um, I'm going to end it there because I think my brain's going to explode. But I hope that's helped people a wee bit. Um, Strategy-wise, if you don't use one of these entries, it just stays, you don't get relegated. So obviously that will be, so there will be looking at that in the transitional period. Um, you know, I've still got other teams to enter here, like classic um, champion, etc. But I just, my brain just, just isn't like working enough to do it just now. Got a couple of under 23 entries. I like how this appears up here. Like I just honestly do think that um, credit where credit's due, that actually the UI is looking a bit better and stuff um, and there's a lot of information going on there as well so if you any feedback let me know and um, we've delved straight into that we've done the play sharper prediction we've done the game week preview we've looked through challenger contender we've looked through champion and I'm away for a lie down if you're playing this weekend we'll end in customary fashion good luck and go far